What's going on, family? Happy birthday, 1224 Capricorns. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. This is Down to Earth Tarot. Family, we're going to take a look at this person that has you on their mind. So please hit the like button, subscribe for daily Capricorn readings, join the membership family, and drop your birthday, sun, moon, rising, and let me know where you are watching from. Capricorns, the only thing that I ask for you oops, to do over here is to use your common sense and hit the like button. Take what resonates, leave what does not, don't force it. Check the playlist, check out other readers and readings. This person that has Capricorn on their mind. Ooh, 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 okay. Couple of things going on. Ooh, Capricorn. Some of y'all dealing with an air or a water sign, though it could be anybody. But it's this 10 of air and this eight of water. Somebody that either walked away from you due to you doing them wrong or you having to walk away from them due to ooh, them doing you wrong. These four, four or five cards, four cards falling into my lap. The moon, big Pisces. The nine of coins, a little Virgo action, the three of wands, two of water, four of water, I roll, baby in the seven of swords. So, okay, what's this? A major violation, as we like to say in my family, occurred. We see somebody dipping out, disappearing, there being a major separation between you and this individual, clearly. Due to this trust issue, some of y'all dealing with a liar, a cheater, a thief. Some of you, an instigator. There's something about the way that this particular card looks, this seven of swords. Like somebody, mm -mm, yeah, stirring the pot. Things getting hot in the kitchen. Therefore, for some of you, there was a major falling out. Others of you, it's just this, again, an ending in somebody creating distance. Notice the tens. Some of you having multiple falling outs with this individual. Again, we see that here with the ten of knives and the multiple swords in this person's back, or knives, I should say. And then even here with the, I mean, it's breaking this old lady's back. Like, it's just too much. There's somebody who is doing too freaking much that has you on their mind. And it doing too much, when I think of the moon, it really speaks, to, again, back to the instigating and doing things behind the scenes. When I see the moon in reverse, this is secrets being exposed. Like beneath the surface, there was a lot going on. And not only that, it's very dark. Especially when it comes to a situation where some of you are dealing with an individual. Some of you are Virgo. Could have been any earth sign, though. <clears throat> this isn't necessarily sign specific. Um, dealing with somebody who is either very codependent or cannot stand on their own. Got to watch out for people like that. Somebody's lack of independence. Mm. I also think of when I, um, the nine of pentacles, somebody who's, um, lacks confidence, unstable, um, <clears throat> or is very emotionally reliant on another person. Notice how we see this older man here and this younger man here with the moon. Um, yeah. Some of y'all had a fallen out with a little follower. <clears throat> And somebody's th and we see this thinking back, looking and watching. Some of you, this person watching over the internet. Some of you, this person keeping tabs on you in other ways. But it is this. It is somebody is wanting to rekindle this relationship. I will say that somebody's definitely feeling like you know there's a missed opportunity here. Somebody's wanting you, to, you know, to come back. But not only that, it's not just the coming back. It's wanting to be welcomed back. Let me be very specific about that. Somebody wants somebody to be excited. I repeat, excited to have them back. 
excited to have them back at the table, having dinner with them, wants to be invited. And the Sagittarius energy here with the sun or the big mama. And this king of coins, which to me <clears throat> speaks to family, could be father figure, uh, but some of you business partner as well. Like you just got to be careful that there's somebody looking for stability and reaching out and, and having this conversation with you and rekindling this situation. And when I think of the four of cups, I do feel like somebody wants to apologize. Or at least extend an olive branch in some kind of way. What else for this four of cups? Somebody doesn't like feeling excluded or being on the outside. And shout out to those of you dealing with an air sign person when I think of this um, king of air. But we see, just like we see with the ten of swords here, with this king of swords, notice the one dagger down, but it's all the broken clock. This isn't the first time around that you've had an issue with this particular individual or individuals. Again, the instigating, the mind games, the, play, the, the playing games of being foolish. Somebody's... I feel like there is somebody that is leaning towards keeping their distance. Like if they have to be around this person, they're keeping them very, very much at arm's length. So not just the king of air, but the daughter of air. And notice all of these people reaching out. All of these hands. Which makes me feel for some of you, Capricorn, when someone decided to walk away or end this relationship, stop communicating with someone, there wasn't just this person where a relationship ended You cut ties or other people, more than just this person, cut ties with you. It's more than that. I also get this energy of, again, while this person is watching, seeing you doing very well. Some of you even watching this person and seeing that they're doing very well, that they're happy. This energy also that somebody looks good, physically is looking very good. Um, but also achieving a lot of goals, as we've seen in the previous readings, you know, if you're subscribed or if you check the playlist, you see plenty of that. Um, but this energy of somebody seeing somebody doing well, wanting another opportunity here, not wanting to be completely excluded or on the outside of something. But there's something about this over here that I feel like is more of the issue, like we see somebody wanting to come in and apologize and start over. We see somebody, you know, wanting to come and have an adult conversation and, you know, is willing to go along with whatever boundaries, so it seems. But I feel like because somebody's already had multiple chances or has shown themselves time and time again, um, somebody's unwilling to. But then to me, there's something about this not being alone and these this hidden little situation here. This little situation that was here in the background, I feel like what somebody was a part of instigating or had their hand in is really the reason why somebody's keeping people at arm's length or asking people to give them 50 freaking feet. Y yeah. There's just energy regarding this person that <clears throat> you just don't know what this person is going to do next. And notice the repeating numbers here. We see the two of water and the two of air. And we've been seeing a lot of twos in the readings lately. And even with this, yeah. 
And even with the queen of earth and air and this three of coins, yeah, yeah, even if things go well, all things going right, even this person, you know, is checking all of your boxes and does everything that you want. <clears throat> there's still this energy of having feeling like you'd have to walk on eggshells with this person. It's one of those as we see another two. It gives the vibes of somebody being extremely two faced, like somebody's dangerous. There's a need to have a lot of boundaries or to even cut somebody off. It also gives me the vibes of there being a lot of proof to something that was going on either underneath somebody's nose or somebody was sleeping on the fact that somebody, you know, is bitter and angry. But also when I see multiple queens, queen of air, earth, and we see the queen of fire, again, with the can't be by themselves, there's more than, again, there's more than just this person involved. I feel like that's part of the issue is if you invite this person in, you are also invite, you're also inviting other people in. So there's somebody or there's other people that this person is connected to that you're also not wanting to be. Yeah, there's other people. And notice the two, the two of fire and now the high priestess here. Heavy Pisces, Cancer with the railroad bill here or the chariot. And then this tenant is, is for some of you, is this person family? A family member or do you have a family with this person? Like the energy is, if you were to take this person back, your gut feeling is you you would still have to be around these people, these other individuals. And for some of you, it's family, or for others of you, it's their family. But there's people that they're they're connected to in another way, um, that it, that you would be stuck being around, or that you would be tied to. And again, it's this energy of somebody being isolated or pushed out of a situation. And we see betrayals here. And somebody just needing to walk away. And now we see twos and eights, the eight of air, the eight of water. Shout out to the Capricorns born in the year, yeah, in the year 88. Somebody's being a lot more careful this go around with these individuals or individual, um, especially when they come reaching out with an apology, wanting to explain themselves, wanting to start over. Also, we're in our birthday season, Capricorns. It could also be somebody, you know, looking at, reaching out, talking about happy birthday. Can, you know, they rekindle something, but some of you still have this need to still keep this person blocked or keep it moving. But expect this person, somebody is wanting to reconcile. Somebody's wanting to reconcile, and I wouldn't be surprised. This Aunt Caroline always makes me think of Instagram or Facebook. I wouldn't be surprised if somebody doesn't reach out through social media or comments, but specifically like commenting on somebody's picture. Like the, hey, long time no see, haven't heard from you in a while. Or, hey, it's taken a lot of, um, it's taken a lot of strength for me to reach out to you. Kind of, kind of vibe. Some of you dealing with a Leo. But the fact that somebody hasn't heard from you, seen you. But also this energy of somebody looking very good. This individual that they were sleeping on. But I feel like the fact that things are working out, everything is kind of falling into place for somebody. And somebody is seeing that that is bringing someone back around. The threes, the three of fire, the empress here, the Taurus Libra vibes, and this three of pentacles that keeps coming up. Things are falling into, a pl it's falling into place. Don't let this be somebody who was kicking you while you were down and now things are going well and they want to come back. repeat somebody is going to come in is ready to break the silence talking about how they want to cooperate work on things and wants to restart a relationship here and for some I feel like it 
it's a family member or this person has a child. When I think of the mother of coins, or yeah, expect this person to, I'm telling you, write you something, not a phone call, write something, text, email, comment online about wanting to reconcile, how they haven't seen somebody in a long time, how it's taken a lot out of them. Maybe it's even been eight years. We've seen several eights, the strength card, the eight of water, the eight of air here, and now this eight of coins. So we've seen not only the woman in the nine of coins, but now the eight, yeah, a sit, the tables have turned, the situation's upside down. And now somebody, you know, reaching out, wanting to check on, who is this? Some of y'all, it was a lover. Some of you, it's a Gemini. Some of you, somebody's wanting to know, you know, if there's still an opportunity for them to come back and be in your life. Notice the sixes, the courting card here, the six of coins. Who is this person that didn't choose you, Capricorn? Or they were willing to take a risk at the expense of you that is now wanting to come back and it needs for you to be excited about them coming back, but also is attracted to coming back because of some of the things that you have going on, that they've heard good things, that they're seeing good things, they're seeing you do well, or vice versa. Again, the Virgo vibes, the being far away, but some of you, there was more than that. There was a little bit of a betrayal, an abandonment, a situation being very highly reckless, and the fact that somebody's come up out of that new beginnings, 1111. Some of you that somebody's in a new relationship and has moved on, 55. The fact that there's been a major change and somebody's not showing up in the way that they once were. I'm telling has somebody wanting to reach out? Has somebody wanting to, you know, just kind of float, drift back in and heavy on the drift? Now some, see, now somebody wants to work on things. And heavy on the, they want you a do-over. Let's try again with the fool here in the reverse. And again, there's something about the way that this says free man to me. You can't see it because of the glare, sorry. Um, the fact that somebody's coming back because a situation didn't work somewhere else. Like we see this free man here walking out, but we started with this eight of baskets here. We started with this 10 of swords here, crawling out, walking away. And notice how somebody's salty here, this trail of salt behind here in this eight of, come on now. Some of you can't take this person back because um, it would just be too much. Like there's something about this person coming back in particular Capricorns, talking about how happy they were with you or how much they've missed you. That again, another eight here that some of y'all just are not wanting to hear or you already know there's no moving forward. Again, there's something that's pulling me toward this moon and this nine of coins. Again, the fact that there were other people involved here and I see, and the fact that there were other people involved. Notice this tower moment, this little five, of, yeah. Some of you, you need to trust your gut, your intuition about why this person is wanting to reach out if and when they do. Some of you, this person is just trying to reach out for information. If you get that feeling like, mm, they're not, Again, a lot of you are not even interested in dealing with this situation as a whole. But like all oh, this person's asking for other people or just looking for information or so they can give it to somebody else or that this gift is attached to other things. You need to trust that, especially for those of you where, you know, something isn't on the up and up as far as this person legally. Some of you dealing with a Libra. We see Scorpio Aries here with the um, tower. But uh, yeah, 
for some of you not needing to accept this person's offer, not accepting anything to see this person, to talk to them. And it's the Libra Scorpio, Libra Scorpio Cusper. Yeah, this apology, the air and water pages, the Scorpio and Libra card here. And yeah, there's this wanting to work on things. This, again, this other connection, I think family, it makes me feel like family, work, money involved. Because um, there's always other people here in the background. Yeah, it's, yeah. The fact that you would always have to look over your shoulder at this person or these people. And back to that death card here. Er, 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 where is it? Shout out to the Capricorns born on the 5th and the 15th. Um, we see the rest in peace here in the, yes. For some of you who have officially laid this situation to rest, may, may they rest in peace, peacefully, away from you. But a lot of y'all have moved on past this. And a lot of this has to do with protecting yourself. Again, it's the two-phase, the you can't trust this person. Again, the fact that Ms. Br the looking over her shoulder. That once you just got to this place with this person, it was permanently done. And this, and it doesn't feel like there's a beef here. It just feels like mm, somebody's dangerous. Like this person is dangerous. It's, it's nice that they're, maybe some of these people want to come around just to congratulate you, but more, it, it seems more like it's, it's an opportunity thing. Like if they can get a piece of this, they just want to know some information, but a lot of it has to do, you know, I feel like somebody wants a connection to you. Some of you, this person talking about a serious relationship, but again, the hair fought this Taurus energy, it's, There's another type of commitment. I feel like family or otherwise, maybe being locked into some type of contract in which you're having to block somebody and keep them away. Especially this person coming in, you know, trying to bear gift. Yeah, trying to bear gifts, looking for forgiveness. Some of this person is coming back because, it, you know, they're aging, they're getting older and wanting to, you know, seek forgiveness, start over. Again, but again, it's too high risk. You, you you just can't read this person. You don't know what's going on with them. Capricorns. The sevens. The, you will always have to look over your shoulder at this person. Capricorns, tell me this ain't family. Tell me this isn't some, some friend that's attached to some people that you know. Long-term social circle. But it's over. The ants, Yes. The Seven of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles, the Death Card, and the Miss Robinson again. Yes. This person coming in, making an offer, some of you an apology, trying to make a situation right and fair. We see Scorpio, Libra, Capricorn. Yes. And there's, again, there's another reason that somebody is invested in always coming back. Because I feel like this isn't the first time. Um, so trust your gut. Trust your gut about this apology. Trust your gut about this person reaching out over the internet, wanting another chance, wanting to reconcile. Capricorns, let me know what resonated for you down below. Drop this person sign. Hit the like button. Subscribe for daily content. Um, find me on Instagram. Check out my second channel. All my links are down below in the description box. And Capricorns, I will be tapping in with you very soon. Keep it real.